comes out 12 inches and up 12 inches. These are absolutely amazing. So that I know of, my dogs attempted this twice within the first like two, three days they were up and haven't since. Um, so they work really well. I would definitely recommend these to anybody that has a uh, LGD um, guard dog and they're having issues with keeping them in their yard. Um, like I said, we've had no issues with these and these guys do a um, pretty good job at patrolling everything and I mean we haven't had um, any issue of bear, mountain lion, anything even close. Uh, standing here with my two pups, um, these are Armenian gambers. Uh, they're great uh, livestock guard dogs, however they have this thing about getting out and running for miles and miles and miles. Anybody that has a livestock guard dog, that's just an issue I think all of them have. Uh, these guys come back uh, on their own. We don't have to go chase them, but they seem to get in a little bit of trouble along the way. So um, it's kind of part of it. That's our house dog. But um, what I wanted to show here, what these are, if we look here, these are what are called high zaps. So it's just H-I-Z-A-P. Um, you can look them up online. Uh, they're on, they have a couple of things on YouTube and um, the uh, guy that owns the business, he's one of those salt of the earth kind of guys. I'm not paid to do any of this or I don't, the guy doesn't even know I'm doing it, but I just thought I would because I like the product so much. So the way that these work, um, basically they fit on top of a T-post or you can screw them to a tree. Um, if you notice here, the way this goes, this is literally made to slide right on top of that T-post. And then... And so this one is screwed into a tree and you can see there's an insert right here. And that insert is just left inside of it. If you're screwing it in, if you put it on a T-post, you literally just pull down and it pops out. So I have installed <laughs> uh, probably close to half a mile worth of these around our yard. Well, I'm not done yet, but that's basically the perimeter that I've gotten done with this year so far. I mean, the snow kind of caught up pretty quick so it's not even Halloween yet and we've already had 14 inches of snow here is another picture here and you can kind of see as I'm panning around um, the elevation change so it's pretty dramatic if you can't see it so there's the boys sitting back there staring at me All right, so here's another picture here, looking down the line of these, and then it makes uh, almost a 90 degree turn and goes this way. So this is where we are, uh, 7,500 feet. We have deer, elk, moose, bear, mountain lion, you name it, fox, all of it. Um, we've had no attempt on anything since we've put these up. I'm sure the dogs help with that, obviously, but we've had no attempt from anything getting in the yard. So here's just another picture here, kind of panning around. You can see where the cattle panels go down. To and so at this point, this is where we have the existing fence. Uh, the post and dowel fence was all existing. Um, but yeah, I can't say enough good things about these. Um, great invention. It adds 12 inches of height and 12 inches of depth which is, it's just, a, it's a, I don't know, call it a very confusing thing uh, to an animal. They're not going to jump over that. No way. All right, so one last image of this. So what this does, 12 inches and 12 inches. Um, I'm not sponsored by Hi Zap. I don't have anything to do with them other than I buy their products. 